everyone, my name is Jamie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I make videos about knitting and yarn and that's pretty much it. So if that interests you, feel free to subscribe, check out my other videos, all fiber arts knitting related. So we'd love to have you stick around. I'm also on Instagram, so feel free to check that out. It's at Jamie underscore creates and I'm also on TikTok with the same username. If you're wondering, I am wearing my latest FO, which is the Shapeshift jumper, my new design that I just came up with and have written the pattern for, but I have not yet put a testing call out, uh, at least when I'm filming this. <laughs> um, not sure when I'm gonna do that, so maybe by the time this video goes up, there'll be a testing call out or it'll already be in testing. I'm not really sure. Editing me here. <laughs> to tell you that the testing call is out. I put it out like last night. So the link to apply to test is in my Instagram bio. Hi, um, future me popping in. I know I look different. I've had a haircut um, since I filmed this video a few weeks ago, but I wanted to quickly pop in here to tell you all about a really exciting announcement. Two announcements, actually. So the first one, if you follow me on Instagram, you would already know, but I wanted to make sure I told you on YouTube as well, in case you're not following me on Instagram and you didn't hear the news. So last Sunday on the 6th of November, I announced on my Instagram that my collaboration with Cardi Gang has launched. It was very much a secret. I didn't really tell anyone about it um, and kept it under wraps for months, but I'm finally, finally able to show you everything. The kit is called the Jamie Cardigan. I'll put up a little picture here so you can see what it looks like. How amazing is this photo, uh, the photography, and this the whole campaign shoot that uh, the Cardigan girls were able to put together is just <laughs> so good. It is definitely very beginner friendly. Cardi Gang's patterns are known for that. That's their whole shtick. And I made sure to design the cardigan in a way that would be accessible for first time knitters. If you are, you know, a new knitter, you've knitted a few things and you want to like level up your skills, try something a little bit more textured with a bit more going on, color work, that kind of thing. It's the perfect, perfect design to try. I just wanted to t let you know because the kit is available now on Cardi Gang's website. And yeah, I'm just so excited about it and so proud of what we created. Okay, so that is the first thing. Second announcement is if you are in Melbourne, I'm actually gonna be at a market on the 20th of November. So that's like next week. Very last minute decision from me, but I haven't done a market in I think like six or seven months now. And I have quite a bit of stock and I thought, why not do a market just before Christmas? The market is, I'll tell you, the market is the Trust Maker Market at Ripon Lee Estate. And that's organized by the same people who do Rose Street, which is the markets that I've done in the past. So it's gonna be great. I'm gonna have this big pink marquee. So if you're looking for me there, that is where you'll find me. It's like bright pink and you really can't miss it. So if you wanna come say hi, try on some knits. I think I'm also gonna have my scrunchies there too. Um, so if you wanna get a scrunchie, you wanna get some knits, just say hi even. Um, then yeah, I would just like love to see you there. If you're thinking about doing some gift shopping, couldn't recommend this market more regardless of like whether or not you come to my stall. If you're thinking about shopping from small businesses this Christmas and buying handmade, then look no further than this market and all the other markets that they put on. It's just so incredible, the talent that they have in Victoria. And I am just, yeah, really um, humbled and uh, grateful to be able to trade at these kind of markets. And I'm really, really excited because I have really missed it. Okay, that's all. The rest of the video I filmed a few weeks ago, so obviously I'm gonna look different as you would have already seen in the intro. Yeah, okay, let's get on with the video. Today's video is going to be a little vlog. So basically I went to a craft slash yarn market today called She's Crafty, which was a brand new market in Melbourne. It's never happened before. And it was so much fun. I tried to film as much as I could. Uh, I think I'm gonna just chuck some voiceovers over the clips that I did record because I wasn't really 
talking very much. Um, it was like obviously really loud as well. It was like all indoors. Um, but I had so much fun. So as far as I'm aware, the market was started by Melbourne Sea Dye Works and Mavis Handmade, I'm pretty sure. Um, and they uh, they just put together this incredible market with all these mostly local, I'm pretty sure, dyers and just like small yarn businesses, small craft businesses. And it was just so fun um, and so busy. The turnout was insane, at least like when I was there. There were so many people I had to like wait in a line to get in. And it was like a not very big space. So it was quite crowded and, but obviously like that's, a, that's amazing. Like I think for the first time market, like it was just, you know, maybe you don't know what to expect, but I think it's like incredible how big our community knitting and craft community is in Melbourne. Um, and like, there was just such a big like diversity of age there. I think maybe a couple of years ago you would have found like, only I guess like older people like older women at this market but there were people of all ages there there was an 18 year old running a stall like her own like hand-eyed yarn business which was insane I was just like wow the reason I wanted to go mostly was because of my friend Chloe she was doing a stall I ended up getting a lot of stuff from her I like ended up just exploring the area a bit after because I don't often go up north side and I just figured while I was there May as well um so I did record a little bit of my little adventures afterwards and stay tuned to the end because I'm going to be doing a little haul of everything that I bought so I am about to head out for the day I am heading to the she craft the she's crafty market and I am wearing my latest fo my shape shift jumper which is a new design and i'm so excited i haven't worn it out yet so this is the first time i'm wearing it out and it's so cute and i paired it with these cute little earrings that i got a couple weeks ago at the finders keepers market and i'm super excited because i am going to visit uh, my friend chloe who has a yarn dyeing business called woolen works and she's doing a stall and I'm really excited to finally stock up on some of her beautiful yarns. And I also am just really excited to see all the yarn that is there. And I'm really hoping I don't go too crazy. I know I probably will, but I'm going to try and have restraint within reason because I also like did know that I was going to go to this market for a while and I've been really excited for it. And I don't want to then just like not be able to enjoy the whole point of the market, which is to buy yarn and support local uh, yarn dyers and yarn businesses so yeah I'm really excited and I'm going to attempt to film while I'm there I might forget so we'll see but yeah uh, enjoy this little vlog so as I said before there was a huge line to get into the market and I for some reason didn't film that but you can obviously see there are lots of people inside and it was just so heartwarming and look at all this yarn. I cannot get over how talented everyone is. I was so overwhelmed. That's Chloe and her stall. How beautiful is it? She actually had her stall like fall over, like the table broke right before the market started, but she said everyone came to help uh, and she got it all back and running. So, and yeah, she did so well. Uh, wow, these clips are going too fast. Look at all these incredible knits. And um, that was just so nice to see people selling their handmade knits. There was a wool winding section so people could get their skeins wound up. Can we just appreciate like, everything happening here at the store I was like wow and I also picked up a few goodies obviously okay then I was gonna leave but then I stumbled upon another wool store just down the road and I had to go in because I've never been before it's called Woolarium look at how beautiful it is it was so cute the lady working there was so lovely I didn't actually end up buying anything but I did enjoy looking. So just enjoy these clips of me admiring all the yarn. It was like quite a few different brands of yarn that I had never seen before, which was lovely as per. And I'm just really, really proud of myself for holding back. Oh my God, just look at these rainbow ones. I can't remember which one it was, but one of these were like cotton. And it didn't feel anything like cotton. It was like so soft. All right, it has been a nice day the weather today has just been literally 
so chaotic it's like every time i walk in and out of a shop it's like raining or then it's sunny or then it's windy right now it's really sunny but like the gray clouds it can start raining any moment it's just like throwing me off because i feel like every time i exit the indoors <laughs> I'm just like caught off guard, but I guess that's Melbourne for you. But yeah, I think it's time to go home before I spend any more money. I exercised restraint. I didn't buy anything at Woolaria, but yeah, I had a great time at the market. So much yarn. Went a bit over budget, but I was there to support my friend. Okay, I'm back on the voiceover quickly. So I was driving home and then I drove past this store and I just had to stop and go in because I was like stopped in my tracks. It looked so beautiful and I'm so glad I did. It's called Nimki. It's just opened up in Northcote. They sell a variety of handmade and just like general small businesses from Melbourne and around Australia, I'm pretty sure. I bought some earrings but never showed them for some reason. But yeah, I'm just so happy I went. As predicted, it started raining. <laughs> I walk out of the store and it's pouring before that it was really sunny okay so time for the haul I went over my budget not by that much um but and also my budget was kind of arbitrary I just kind of set them out but I didn't really know what I was going to end up getting and yeah I just I ended up just going a bit over, but it's okay. It's okay. It's gonna be worth it. So firstly, I got this very cute tote bag. Um, it, you could either just pay for like $3 for entry or $10 for entry and a tote bag. And I knew I did not have enough space in my uh, like bag that I already had with me. So I was like, rather than just like struggling to pack all the yarn into um, my bag that I had already, I was like, let me get a cute little tote. You can never have enough. And it says, she's crafty, brought to you by Melbourne Sea Dye Works and Mavis Handmade. Yep, I was right. Um, and it's got the Instagram logo. So, so sick. So I'm going to show you all my Woolen Works purchases first, which is pretty much everything. Um, I only bought one thing from another store because honestly, like I was there to buy from Chloe. I've been meaning to for the longest time and it was just a really good opportunity to just like see everything in front of me and just get whatever I wanted um, and I did look at the other stores as well and I did get one skein from another store but yeah like let's be real the main reason I was there was for Chloe I was very prepared to buy yarn from other stores if I wanted to but um, I just I don't no shade to the other stores everyone was so talented and I'm just in awe of everyone who dyes their own yarn but like Chloe's yarn is very much it's like right up my alley like it's just bright colors pastels just like the yarn itself like she had a lot of like fluffy yarn which was just like flying off the shelves like I got there and I think like around 12 so the market had already been going for two hours and there was like hardly any left so yeah she had done so well with that and like yeah I think it was just to be honest, like just more my taste. Um, some of the other stores had like more neutrals or just like, just stuff that I'm less drawn towards. So um, yeah, I basically just took the opportunity to go wild. <laughs> so I will show you everything I got. So the first, I actually ended up going back twice. Like I went and I made some purchases and then came back and made more purchases. <laughs> so my first purchase was these two skeins that I got of the Lace Suri Silk in the shade neon lights so i'll just show those up close i really hope everything is focused but if it's not that's sad but yeah it's this gorgeous new colorway that she has and it was just so pretty i'm just obsessed with it and i plan on using these to make the ghost whisperer top by park knit so i'm really keen for that it's this like gorgeous like uh, kind of like not mesh but like see-through um little t-shirt with like puff sleeves and I think that will be really, really cute um to wear in summer so I needed about 400 meters for that and this is this come these come in 300 meter skeins so I had to get two so I'm definitely gonna have quite a bit left over yeah I should have about 200 meters left over so I'm not sure what I'll end up doing with that but 
um, yeah, I just, I was not gonna risk it and get one because I was definitely not gonna have enough. If you were curious, so this is a 74% baby Siri alpaca, 26% silk, um, and it comes in a 50 gram skein, with, as I said, with 300 meters. Okay, and then I bought some other things, but I'm gonna show those at the end. But then when I came back to Chloe's stall, I was like, I need more. I need more, okay? So I basically just decided I was gonna get these two skeins of DK yarn because I had been obsessing over this shade and for some reason my first time when I went to the store I didn't buy any like I don't know why I just like got distracted um but this is a, the DK Merino superwash 100 grams 225 meters in the shade me as a bird which I have been obsessing over <laughs> for like the longest time since she launched this collection and hopefully you can see it um but yeah, I was like, I have to get it. So I'm gonna get one skein of this. And then I just was like, okay, I should probably pair it with like a solid. She had all these beautiful solids, these beautiful pinks, yellows. And I was like, wow. Um, ended up going with this one, which is in the shade Rosella. Uh, also the Merino uh, in the DK. And I think these two just look so nice together. So I have absolutely no clue what I'm gonna make. No idea whatsoever. We'll figure that out. Um, but yeah, maybe like something striped or something just like that has a contrasting color. I don't know, <laughs> we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm obsessed with these and I just think they look so cute together. So I'm really glad that I got them. Okay, and then I also just really wanted to try her fingering Suri. So um, this is 100% Suri alpaca. And I just thought one skein will be enough for whatever it is that I end up making. Uh, it's 100 grams, 400 meters, so that's heaps. Um, and I just really love Suri. It reminds me a lot of Melter Baby Suri. And so I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna get it. Um, this is in the shade Tickled Pink. Just up close, just showing it. Um, I may make another Josephine vest uh, in this, but I don't know. It depends on how the first one goes, if I wanna make a second. I might use this beautiful color, but I'm also like, should I just make something else? Like, I don't know. Oh, it's so good, it's so good, it's so good. I just, I'm obsessed with this pink. It's quite similar to the pink that I'm wearing, but uh, a little bit brighter, I reckon. So <laughs> these are all my Woolen Works yarn purchases. I went crazy, but I did tell Chloe I was gonna go crazy. Okay, and then I got uh, one skein from another stall so this was actually, uh, this is actually a German yarn, a uh, German dyer. Um, it, I think it's called Walk. Yeah, Walk Collection. I don't know, there was this store that was just like selling a bunch of different brands. Um, so yeah, but this is still hand dyed. It's just not made in Melbourne. This is their Cottage Merino, which is a 100% wool superwash, uh, heavy suck weight, um, 100 grams for 360 meters. And this is the shade Bubbles. It's just adorable. The bright colors. I was debating on if I needed more than one, but I had no idea what I was gonna make. So for some reason I thought I'll just get one because they were quite expensive. Um, so I just was like, I could probably do a lot with 360 meters. I don't really think I need another one um, because I probably will hardly use it. So I'm just gonna make do <laughs> with the one that I've got. Hopefully that's gonna be a uh, decision that I don't regret. But yeah, it's just this gorgeous, just, I don't know, rainbows. I feel like I saw so much yarn like this when I was in Europe and I was going to all these different yarn stores, but I didn't really get very much. Like I would look at it and admire it, but then I didn't really buy it because I wouldn't necessarily have projects for them. So I just thought, let me just get this one. I will find an amazing project for it. Okay, that's all the yarn that I bought, but I did get two other things from Chloe's stall. So the first is her new wool wash that she's finally brought out after working on it for so long and I am so excited because the only wool wash I currently have is just like one that I got from the supermarket and it's a eucalyptus like scent and I don't know why I bought it because I actually despise the scent like every time I block or wash my knits I'm always just like trying so hard to get the scent out of it because I just don't like it and so when I saw she was coming out with wool wash I was like yes finally perfect timing to just get something new that I can use uh, for blocking and for washing um, and I don't have to use that eucalyptus anymore. So I got the, the, not the shade, not the flavor, I got the scent 
Rain on a Tin Roof, and it's a uh, hand poured lanolin rich wash. I don't really remember what the deal is with lanolin, but Chloe was talking about it on the live stream. And it sounded good. <laughs> I don't really know. I'm not the most educated when it comes to this stuff, but yeah, I'm really, I'm really keen for trying this out. And she has four different scents, so I just smelled them all, and I was like, yeah, this is probably my favorite. Um, so yes, got myself some of that. And she was also selling these Knit Pro Rainbow Knit Blockers. So are these like blocking needle things that have like four like little, I know you smell it, like four little needles sticking out and I just thought I need that because right now what I use for blocking are like sewing needles, like little sewing pins that just are all like bending and don't really work and are not meant for blocking. So yeah, got myself a box of these, figured it would come into good use, uh, hopefully encourage me to block more because I don't block enough. Um, so I'm really glad that they were like so readily available. It comes with 12 blockers with eight pins and eight blockers with four pins. So pretty good. Okay, that is everything, thank God. Um, I could have bought more, but I didn't. And I also refrained from buying at the uh, yarn store that I came across on High Street. So I'm really proud of myself um, because I really wanted to get, but I didn't. Yeah, that's basically my haul. Hope you enjoyed watching this video and coming along with me throughout my day. I had such a fun day exploring, yarn shopping. My wallet isn't thanking me as much, but all the money that I'm spending on this stuff is all from my pattern sales. So I couldn't be more grateful for everyone who's bought a pattern of mine. If you wanna buy a pattern of mine to help pay me back for the damage that I did today, the link is in the description. Um, no, I'm totally, I'm totally kidding. I'm also not kidding, but um, yeah, it's like really cool that I can like give back to the industry um, through my own business and it's all just kind of circulating. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I think that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye.